Today we're working on a 2012 Outback Legacy. Um, seat belts are blown. We're going to change driver and passenger side. So I've got replacements here. We do sell them at SSP Recycling. Um, give us a call. Here we go. First, got to remove all the all these panels. Remove this these pop out pretty easy. You got to remove this rubber seal out of the way. And a clip remover. Sometimes they come out easy, sometimes you'll have to fight them. Same thing on this side. These are the clips that hold it. That's what I was taking out. These guys, you know, work pretty well. Yeah. Get that out of the way. Then this guy is set up the same way. Got a clip up here. Make sure you don't break that. Take the clip, one of these picks, and take out the actual connector. You pick at it from the side. It will come out. Pull that out of the way. I think a 14. Fourteen that comes out. The fourteen down here, and then you switch it out to a ten. You get this one bolt right here. And that's how easy this puppy comes out. There's one more right here, and it's a fourteen. And that's how that old one comes out. Just fish this out. Is there any to reuse this? This piece at least. But this piece is the deployed one. Now, here's a new one. What I recommend you do is put this in first to hold it in place. This little 10. Just temporarily just hold this up here with a couple spins. The new one didn't come with this bolt. So we're gonna take these bolts out from here. And put it on this bottom one. Once we got that hand tight in, we can go ahead and tighten the bottom one.
And we can go ahead and tighten the top one. Don't tighten this too hard because you'll snap the bolt. You do it a couple times, this gun will snap the bolt, and then you've got a big problem. Make sure that this yellow pin's out. Let me plug it in. Make sure that this goes in all the way flush. <coughs> now we need to put this through this. So. The fish is back through. Oh, this piece probably needs to go back in. But the rest of that can stay out. So you could technically just put this back on. And let's put that back on. Tighten that. These clips gotta go back up into the spot. These things slide underneath here. I don't know if you can see well, but these clips got to go here. There's really... So here's the problem you see here is this thing is not where it's supposed to be. This hump right here is supposed to be right on here to uh, make sure that you can adjust this thing. So. I have to pull this back out and adjust this so it sits right on top, right on the uh, right on the bolt. See how now it works. Don't get ahead of yourself and there you go. Hear that clip in, these two clipped in. Make sure it's freely movable, make sure this is uh, fully adjustable. And then you can go ahead and put this bolt down here. Put this back over it. It's a fully functional seatbelt. Now we need to put this cover back on first. Make sure all the clips are on here, not on there. If they are, pull them off, put them on here. So you can put this thing back on. Don't force it. And you can kind of see where the clips are going. Everything's functional. You gotta put these rubbers back on. And on both sides. And that's how you uh, do the driver's side. 
similar process to the passenger side, but it's a little more difficult. So let's swap sides and the passenger side. 